just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like got a made it Got a made it Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and grave Right and grave Mar Jackson, fun day and Hollywood Brown Day Both this Saturday in Broward County Whew. Decisions, decisions Anyway, team keep it clean First question came from my guy BB He said, yo fam, been listening for about four years I'm from the 502 Louisville And wanted to thank you for this channel Oh man, I, I thank you Especially all the questions that you done sent uh, Over the years, I appreciate you supporting So thank you for that, man He said, I was wondering if there's any information On Eamon Marshall And his possible availability He showed he can play What are your thoughts? Oof. I don't know, man I don't know because I know a lot of Ravens fans feel just like Eamon Marshall is just such a, a mystery because there's so much that we just don't know about him because we really haven't seen him like that. I think he's played in like a total of maybe like two or three games, um, but we we just haven't seen him. It's been a lot of injury reserve uh, and just he hasn't been out there. Um, so this year he was at the, the OTAs and mini camp and stuff. And I remember one day with Jeff's rebig, I was like, Jeff, you didn't, you know what you're doing, Jeff. And he was like, Oh, it's Eamon Marshall. And he was like, yeah, it's really him. Uh, cause initially he had reported uh, a group of players that were back from like injuries and stuff who were on the field, who reported to the, uh, the practice. And then he was like, yes, Eamon Marshall is here. And, and then he, uh, he showed a picture of him and stuff. And it was like, Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Now, um, he does have a very, very steep hill to climb uh, as far as making the roster. Um, very, very steep hill. Because you figure guys that are locks, obviously Marcus Peters, Marlon Humphrey, um, Kyle Fuller, uh, Brandon Stevens. Um, and they drafted the two corners too. Uh, so, that, so, yeah, it's, it's real like Jalen and, and Pepe. So, it's, it's, it's real tight. It's real, real tight. Ardarius Washington, even though I think he could possibly be on the bubble, but he will be another corner. And I think he has a, like an advantage over uh, Eamon Marshall right now, uh, especially his versatility. I remember Eamon Marshall, when they first drafted him, i never forget his uh, Avengers story because he said he was in the movies watching Avengers, whether it was Infinity War or Endgame, whatever it was, he was watching Avengers. And he said he got the call then. I'm like, man, what, what a memory, man, to, to be called from the movies. Um, good thing he took it, because I'm sure a lot of people probably mad at him, because he's probably hyped and all that, but anyway, um, he, he was a bigger frame cornerback, and I remember thinking, okay, well, this could be the Ravens, uh, just a little shot, because I think he was a fourth round pick, so this could be like a little shot at them, uh, attempting to eventually have, groom him to replace Jimmy Smith, um, but I just haven't seen him out there yet. So hopefully uh, he can be healthy and hopefully he can like really uh, put it all together. And that's whether it's with the Ravens or whether it ends up being somewhere else, whether he ends up being on a practice squad, whatever it happens, hopefully he can end up putting it all together uh, so he can make it on the field. Next question came from my guy, Gareth. He said, hey, Graven, how's Pookie? I would love to see how big she's got. Oh, <laughs> let me see. Pookie, come here. Pookie, come here. Come here. Oh, this, come here, uh, this is Pookie, she, um, that's Pookie, she has gotten, she got a little big, she's still small, I think she was the, um, the smallest golden retriever, uh, in, alright man, she was the smallest golden retriever, uh, in her little, I mean, in her litter, uh, so amongst all her brothers and sisters, she was like this tiny little retriever, but she's good, man. She's doing real, real good. Uh, but he also said, um, do you think, do you think we should get, <laughs> move, man. move, do you think we should get a veteran uh, at wide, at wide out? Because I really think we need one. They're going to, who, oh, she go moving the mic. They're going to, because they, they, they're going to, you know, they're going to. Who it ends up being like, if, hopefully they get somebody that really, could really push them and push the other guys. Uh, if, if they're not going to get somebody that's really going to push them, then I feel like it would be no point. I feel like it would be no point. Well, I mean, you still need for, for depth, but I, I just feel like um, I, I don't want them to just get a guy just to get a guy. Get a guy that's really going to make you that much better. 
go in, man. Anyway, um, he said, I would love your input. Thanks for answering my question. Hope you and your family are having a great summer. You work too hard. I would love to see you take some time off. Oh, trust me, we, we always take time off. We were just on vacation last week. Uh, and, and even though we were still doing videos, that was in downtime. Because when, when you're on vacation, you ain't doing stuff 24-7. Well, I know, no, actually, some people probably do. But, well, yeah, so we, we always take time off. That, that's a must. And I, I give that same advice to anybody else for no matter what it is that you do. You have to take time off. You have to take time away. You have to give yourself a break. You got to. Or else you are going to drive yourself absolutely crazy. You don't want to do that. It's not good for you. So, yeah, we, we take a lot of time off. Um, love you loads, bro. God bless my friend. And shout out to all the team. Keep it clean. Thanks for everything you're doing, Graven. P.S. You're my hero. Oh, no, I, I ain't nobody's hero. I, I ain't nobody's hero. Um... But maybe uh, if Avengers hit me up or something, they need some little help. I'll be like, all right, what's going to be my specialty, though? I don't know. What would be my, like, superpower? Maybe, like, eating or something. Next question came from my boy David. He said, what's good, Engraven? Hope all is well with you and your loved ones. Oh, yeah, appreciate that. Salute the team. Keep it clean. And everyone watching, peace and love. Hey, I appreciate that, man. My question is super short. How would you feel if we somehow traded for Brandon Ayuk? Hmm, I personally feel... Uh, what this? As soon as I saw that name, because you know what was funny? I was just watching him last night. Last night. I was playing Madden, and I just started watching Brandon Ayuk just film. I watched some highlights, too, but I watched Brandon Ayuk, and that's what stuck out to me from him. He's a, he's six feet, um, but the yak. And, and, and he's smooth with his yak, too. He ain't making, like, crazy cuts, like, stop on a dime type of cuts, but he's making those little smooth transitions. And it's like, all right, okay, we see you. I like it. So I, I wouldn't be mad at Brandon Ayuk at, at all. But what you mentioned, he said, I personally feel we could use the yak, but I want to know how you feel about it. it. The exact same way. Exact same way. That's, that's our thing. That's, that's what we need more of. Because yak, man, yak helps everybody it helps out your quarterbacks it makes you as a wide receiver or tight as a pass catcher it makes you that much more dangerous because it's one thing if teams if they looking at you as a pass catcher whether well, again whether wide receiver tight end whatever but speaking just about wide receivers they're looking at you as a wide receiver they got to worry about one two things the first thing or for some wide receivers they only got to worry about one one of those things is you catching the ball that's first and foremost because if you don't catch the ball, that negates everything else. But some wide receivers, they just got to worry about them catching the ball, and that's it. Oh, he caught the ball. All right, let's tackle. But for other wide receivers, they got to worry about them not only catching the ball, but what they do after they catch the ball. And that is that yak. That is being special after the catch. Because a lot of people can catch the ball, and that's fine. That's great. But it's what you do after you catch the ball that makes you special. Next question came from my guy Bashiri. He said, hey, Graven, what do you think is the difference between the Chiefs' current receivers and the Ravens' current receivers? They traded their number one just like we did and have many role player receivers just like us. They got Juju, we have Bateman, they have Kelsey, and we have Andrews. Oh, that's an interesting question. This is a fun question. I like this one. It's how they used. And the last question on this episode came from my guy Kevin B. Um, he said, hey, Graven, how's everything going? I hope all is well. Uh, I read the article uh, saying that Jalen Ferguson had an overdose uh, off cocaine uh, with uh, fentanyl. Uh, sad if it's true. Uh, I just buried my brother last year. Uh, it was said. It was said that he overdosed off of the same thing. Uh, he was also a very bright-minded person who gave a lot of knowledge about life and sports. Uh, he was a sports guru. I tell you, hey man, I sorry to hear about your brother, man. Sorry to hear about that. And yeah, it's it's just uh, it's just sad, man. Uh, again, you um, that's why we always say you you, you never know uh, what people are going through. You you never know what people are struggling with. You never know what people are dealing with. Um, so that's why it's so important to just try as as much as you possibly can uh, to treat people with respect, to show love to people, um, try to be nice to people. And again, like we always say, it's tough, man. It's tough because people will try you. People can be annoying. People can be rude. People can be disrespectful. People can be so much negative things. Uh, but it's important to just try, to, to try um, to, to show them love and show them positivity. Um, so, yeah, real, 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 real sorry about um, 
uh what happened to your brother uh sorry what happened to uh to Jalen ferguson too it's crazy out there man it, it's, it's it's real crazy out here man um but he said uh fentanyl has been crashing communities leading to a lot of deaths over the past five to seven years uh, as i know of even police officers have been dying from the use of this drug uh, people are using it to mix with any drug substance there is uh, from ecstasy to marijuana just to make their drugs stronger uh, i just hope people can wake up and, and let this let this thing go uh, because it is very addictive and it's dangerous uh, apologies for the long rambling but it's just something that's been on my mind for some years now peace and blessings hey no you don't apologize for that man don't apologize for that yeah you have literally nothing uh to apologize for man but yeah it, it is it, it's super un unfortunate man um and yeah it just it's crazy man it, it, it's it's crazy but that's why it's important to um let's just try to stay away from all that stuff as much as you can man try, try to stay away from all that stuff um because yeah it's, it's dangerous obviously it's, it's, it's dangerous um and then like that's why, like, and it's crazy because one thing, and you may be, if you do something right now, you may think, oh, yeah, this, this is harmless. This, this, this ain't nothing. But enough times, uh, one thing can lead to another, then another thing can lead to another, then another thing can lead to another. And, another. and I know you, you hear the term, like, I know plenty of y'all heard it in school, uh, growing up and stuff, gateway drugs. And think, oh, gateway drug oh yeah they just talking about this and like dare and um i don't think they do dare anymore but whatever they do now but you heard that term gateway drugs but it is true i've seen it happen with people that i know firsthand i'm sure a lot of y'all have unfortunately seen it happen too but one thing can lead to another and you'd be thinking oh yeah i did this oh yeah i could do this oh i did this oh yeah i can handle this and it could just be a roller coaster so in my opinion, it's best to just stay away from all that, man. Stay away from all that and just, oof, because yeah, like I said, it's just it's it's too crazy out here, man.